Hey, y'all, come on in. Yeah, I'm bringing out my Southern right now. Come on in here. I have tea. I have a new slip cover on my chair. It needs some finagling, but I got my hot tea and it's warm. We got a fire going in our fireplace and it's just a wonderful day in the neighborhood. Uh, I missed Leanne's show today because Ben called right as her show came on, so I couldn't listen to her show, but I have posted it in all the groups so y'all can see it. And it's a good day in the neighborhood. Ben's getting stronger every day. Thank you for all your prayers, all your cards and letters and lighting candles. Somebody posted the other day, they, they lit a candle at the Vatican for him and he was just, he's just excited about all the news. So um, if you haven't sent him a card yet, take a few minutes today to send Ben a card and let him know you're thinking about him. And we're just hoping that in the next few weeks he'll be out of prison and that we'll, he'll be um, on the road to recovery. I've already got him. Uh, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, y'all. You have to be thankful for even the bad things that happen because Ben had a gallbladder attack on Monday night when he was so sick and when they took him from the prison. And because of his gallbladder attack, because of that, they did a PET scan and found the cancer in his appendix. There's a purpose for everything, a purpose for everything, and God uses it all. So I am so thankful, so thankful for a gallbladder attack. He's still having issues with his gallbladder, but as soon as we can get him out of there, we, Leanne's got a cleanse. It, it saved her from having to have surgery, and he doesn't need another surgery right now. He just really does not need that on top of everything. So food's going right through him. He lost a lot of his colon and one foot of his small intestine. So pray for him to get the nutrients he needs, and when he gets out, we'll be able to get in the supplements he needs. And it's all good. It's all good. So we're going to draw something out of our little wise old owl. But beforehand, I want, I want to talk to you about something. Um, you know, when, when things happen, when you get derailed from your routines, your routines take this back burner. And you don't realize how important they are to help you maneuver through the trials and tribulations of life. Your routines sustain you. This morning, Leanne got up, took a bath, hot bath because it was cold this morning, and she immediately started putting on her makeup. She usually goes without makeup. Her routine sustained her. Now, I get up every morning, get dressed to lace up shoes. I've added morning things to my routine, like checking my blood sugar and peeing on a, on, um, a ketosis stick. And these are all things that are sustaining me. My routines help keep my house clean. That doesn't make my whole life turn upside down because I can't function with a messy house around me. I just can't do it. So I'm able, Robert helped me yesterday. He was just a big help. We ordered a bunch of new underwear and things for Ben because I know he's going to get out of, out of um, prison in the next couple of weeks. It's going to happen. It is going to happen. So let your routines guide you through the trials and tribulations of life. Just let it happen. So. I've got a topic here. Let's see what it is. I love when God hands me something. <sighs> Eating healthy on a budget. Oh my. <laughs> Eating healthy on a budget. Here it is. Leanne and I were sort of talking about that this morning. Uh, it's just real simple. 
Let me put that basket over there because it's on top of my rubber scrubbers. So, how do you eat healthy on a budget? Well, first, you cut out all the processed foods. All of them. Processed foods are expensive. You're paying for them playing with them. But the playing that they're doing to them is not good. It's not good for your body. Leanne and I have cleared our pantries of the carbs that we have in our pantries. It is changing our lives. I've been in ketosis now for probably about 10 days. I'm happy. I'm happy. My brain is supercharged being in ketosis. I I haven't had to have an afternoon nap in about 10 days because, and I've been going to bed at a decent hour. I've been sleeping. I only having to get up one time during the night. So imagine that being refreshed when you wake up in the morning. So here's to getting all the processed foods out of your life. When Leanne and I wrote Body Clutter, we talked about shopping the perimeter of your grocery store. Not the aisles down the middle, but around the edges where the fresh produce is, where the fresh meats are, where the... um, fresh dairy and there are some good foods that are frozen flash frozen foods that are a great way to get some good vegetables i keep a supply of broccoli i keep a supply of 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 cauliflower i keep a supply of brussels sprouts and just i keep this in my freezer so i've always got something green and wonderful to put with my meals. Now, you need fresh greens, green leafy vegetables. The darker the green, the better. So last night we went to eat Chinese. You know, usually when I eat Chinese, I gain two pounds. Guess what? Yesterday, I only gained three tenths of a pound. I tried something new. Instead of eating Instead of eating uh, sushi like I usually do, I decided I would forego the sushi because sushi has rice in it. One cup of rice, one cup of rice has 50 grams of carbs. Think about that. That's a huge amount, a huge amount of sugar in your, in your body. You're putting it in your body. So, what I did was I got a bunch of spinach greens. They have fresh spinach on the salad bar. And they also have some really good, not iceberg lettuce, but a a, a romaine lettuce. And they have two bowls. And so, I filled my bowl for my soup up with spinach. And then I took a ladle of the soup, uh, the Tom Yum soup, which had little pieces of fat floating on top and it's full of spice and wholesomeness. I mean, I put it right on top of my spinach and it wilted it. So I had this soup with the spinach on the bottom and I stirred it up until it all got wilted and it was to die for. It was really good. And then I went and got a half a plate of spinach because I'm seeing my divided plate in my head. I'm going to put a picture of it on my phone so I can look at it every time before I go to eat to remind me. I may make it my screensaver, that picture of my plate where you've got greens on one half of the plate and then you've got fat and protein on the other half of the plate. And you need a little piece of protein about like this. And you need fat to amount to that. So fat can be your salad dressing with some good oils. It can be some avocado. I mean, the other day I when we went to eat Mexican, I had a bowl of guacamole. Yeah, and a wonderful salad. 
and it was just amazing. So seeing that plate in my head helps me to pick out good foods on a menu, really good foods for me on a menu. Now, how can you eat healthy on a budget? You shop the perimeter of your stores. It's all in body clutter. If you haven't read it, get it out and read it. The only thing we got really that needs to be changed in that book is, is uh, eating six meals a day. My body has gotten used to, has gotten used to eating one meal a day, one meal a day. And I go about 23 hours in intermittent fasting. It's keeping my blood sugar down, which keeps my insulin from coming out and from storing everything I eat. Uh, I don't, I re never really ate um, raw fish. What I did eat was cooked stuff with rice wrapped in seaweed. But I'm having to stick away from, stay away from it. And that's okay. I don't mind because I want to learn to eat this way for the rest of my life. I do not want to, to change this eating, this particular way of eating to, I don't want to ruin what I've done. I'm in ketosis. I'm having a lot of fun with it. We're work. I've lost 23 pounds and tomorrow we start the hot melt sprint and having bone broth. I've got my bone broth ready. I got sprouts ready. I got my greens. I got everything. Everything's ready for my meals and I'll be eating at home next week. And I have all the dressing that I need that's going to fuel my body the right way. And I even got some little uh, Tupperware dishes that hold about um, an ounce, I guess it is. I haven't measured to see how much it holds. But I'm going to put be putting a tablespoon of Leanne's salad, salad dressing in there with a little bit of more olive oil in it. Because I need, I need that. So we do not, as far as getting rid of the carbs, I'm, I've gotten rid of beans. I've gotten rid of milk products pretty much because um, they do have some carbs in them. Now, when Ben gets out of prison, we'll, Leanne's going to set up an eating plan for him to help fight the cancer, but also to help heal his gut because he's been put on major antibiotics and people are getting ready. So being prepared, preparing yourself for this hot melt sprint. Everybody has an allergic reaction to carbs. Their body stores. I mean, you got to read this book folks. If you only read one book this year, read this one, read this book. I'm reading it for the third time today. I am reading this for the third time. Cheese should be in moderation. It's all to help with the inflammation that we have. I have fingers again, y'all. My rings roll around on my fingers. I can't believe what's going on. I have ankles again, not cankles. Now, Lucy, if you're, um, if you're taking medication to keep your blood sugar down, you need to talk to your doctor. You don't need to listen to me. I'm not a doctor and Leanne's not a doctor, but you need to follow your doctor's directions and tell him you want to go We've had people in the Hot Mount Sprint group who have, uh, their doctor is working with us and they've removed one of their medications. They've removed it. So talk to your doctor. Do not just go willy nilly into this without, my doctor knows what I'm doing. She knows I'm working on a new book. She knows that all of this is coming together. And in the end, I bet you I get a recommendation for our new book from my doctor and she's a vegetarian. I can't believe anybody's a vegetarian though. 
I just couldn't live that way. I just don't know how I could do it and be in ketosis. Anyway, so folks, talk to your doctors. Learn how to shop the grocery store around the perimeter and feed your body what it needs. Feed your body what it needs. Go to savingdinner.com forward slash sprint to get signed up. You'll get the emails about the sprint. It starts tomorrow morning and it's going to be a joy to measure myself in the morning. I haven't done it since um, zone two last month. I will measure myself. I will weigh myself and then I'll probably put my scale away. But I'm not promising that this time because my scale is a big part of my number system. It's a big part of, of, of letting the, I'm, I'm a geek at heart, just a geek. And the numbers tell me what's going on. I checked my blood ketosis level this morning. I've been peeing on a stick and they've been dark, dark um, pink, really burgundy. And so I know I'm in ketosis, but I want to know what was going on in my blood. And I got this meter called um, F-O-R-A-6. F-O-R-A-6. And I checked my ketones. It's 2.5 this morning. 2.5. That's the highest it's been. And I'm feeling good. Yep. Yep. Numbers are important. So yesterday I, I was down to 249.7. Today I was right at 250. And my goal, I don't have goals. I have visions. It's just 10 pounds. I'm not looking for the final number. I'm just looking to get below 240. That's it. That's it. Just get below 240. Just get below 240. Yeah, it is kind of dark purple. That's that's fun. Flora 6. It's amazing. This meter checks your blood sugar too with one stick. So you have to put two different things in it. And now the purple, the the purple ketone things are really expensive. So I'm only doing those like three times a week. I'm not doing them every day or several times a day because my pee sticks are, urine sticks are just super cheap. I mean, you can get a hundred of them, 150 of them for like 15 bucks. So they are, they are good. Uh, and they, they keep, they keep, give me a guide, but the ketone sticks, I'm going to do it about three times a week. And we're doing our apple cider vinegar and just all kind of hot melt mix. I've had hot melt mix today. I've had um, some magnesium, which is, is called, it's called Calm. And if you've never used it, I use the unflavored stuff. And I can't get over. I'm not hungry during the day. I don't need a nap. I am ready to go to bed when it's bedtime about midnight. But other than that, Everything's good. And, and the weight is melting off. So join us for the hot melt sprint. It starts tomorrow. And we can do this. We really can. And I got this bone broth. This bone broth is just amazing. So everybody, drink up. Here's to your health. Here's to Ben's health. Light, prayer, light candles and say prayers for him. And we're all in this together, learning a different way to live. And you can do it. You really can do it. So folks, y'all have a good rest of the day. I think I'm going to go have some beef for dinner. I'm craving red meat. And since somebody told us this week it was okay to eat it, which never stopped me in the past, but I'm going to have some red meat for dinner. I love you all. And I will see you tomorrow morning. And you know what we're going to do tomorrow morning? We're going to bless our homes yes and we're going to have a fun time doing it because i have this and we're going to play a game with my tiles that robert made me and 
we are going to get some stuff done because nothing says I love you like a wonderful house when you walk in the door and your home hugs you back. How cool is that? So y'all have a great rest of the day and let's bless our homes tomorrow. See you.